Hallelujah to Jesus, Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Ration of Days, be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Child of God, hear this message very well. You know, I want to encourage this person because I don't want to be judgmental because when you look at the word of God, you will realize that even the virtuous man falls. So there is no one that really have it all. We are all walking towards perfection. It is by the grace of God, you know, keeping our salvation in check and observing all the things that God wants us to observe. It is by his grace. It is not by our power. So that is why I want to be very careful and to speak with this person. I don't know who this message is for. But I hear the Lord said, you have to try, you have to overcome that sin. That particular sin. I know that there is no one that is free from sin. But through the grace of God, God keeps showing us mercy. There is difference between falling into sin than knowing that this is sin and you are doing it. Many of us will fall into sin, into mistakes. That is something that you can say, ah, ah this thing, I don't know, I've, I've offended God. Or oh, I offended God, I didn't even know I offended God. That is why when we pray, when we pray against sin, you hear us say, against, we pray against no. We ask for mercy for no and or no sin. You understand? There is a major plan for this person. But there is an evidence of sin. You know, the Bible says his hands are not short, that he cannot redeem. Neither are his ear heavy that he cannot hear. He said, but our iniquity, me and you. He said, our iniquity, we and his children have separated us from God. You know why? Because there is no unholiness in him. Once there is any single unholiness in us, the enemy will use that to make sure they accuse us not to get to where God is. You understand that was what the enemy was trying to do with you trying to look for an evidence you understand so that god and job there will be separation trying to look for an evidence by destroying almost all everything about him you know there is a major plan for this person there is a good plan in place for you there are a lot of plan good things but you have to observe yourself what am I not doing right? Is my work with God all right? If my work with God is not okay, God help me to work with you. That is why I said I don't want to be judgmental because it is by the help of the Holy Spirit. Help me to walk upright with you. Have a live a holy life, a careful life. You know, many people live a careless life. They don't even care. They forget that life is like a vapor. You know, today life is here, tomorrow is gone. So they live a care. It, don't, it, does not, it, does not, it does not matter life. But there are some persons that live a careful life. So if you are that person that live a careful life, but yet you find yourself coming short of the glory of God every time, you have to ask God for grace to overcome that shortcoming. Hallelujah. And the major plan, for your life that the enemy is stopping through that sin or whatever you will see that the, as the lord show mercy and give you grace you will see that major plan comes to reality i pray for grace and mercy upon you it is well with you jesus love you and i love you with the love of christ i remain your sister evangelist Sarah. by the grace of god i will see you again bye bye